The teacher who had the greatest impact on me, on my life, on who I am, what I think and believe, it wasn't a teacher I ever um, had inside of a classroom. It was um, a teacher who became a lifelong mentor and, and close friend. His name um, is Howard Zinn. Um, and uh, I moved next door to Howard when I was in my late 20s. And uh, he became um, actually my very dear, beloved, close friend for life. But he was also, um, Howard left us a few years ago, so I'm talking about him as was. But he was also my, um, my mentor. Um, you know, he was a very famous historian, radical historian, author of A People's History of the United States, and many, many other books. And when I first met him, I was, um, I was a late bloomer when it came to understanding social justice issues and politics and even being a critical thinker. It took me a long time to, to grow up in those ways. So who could be luckier <laughs> than me to have a next door neighbor who um, sat on the steps and was willing to talk day in and day out about the world, about social justice, about inequality, um, political theory, economics, history with me. And um, slowly I, I built my own ideas out of those conversations, my own reading. I read many of Howard's books and many other books by many other authors and would go back to him to understand more. So um, I learned many things from him and a certain number of core ideas that, that have stayed with me and that were always part of, um, always undergirding his thinking. One of those key core ideas is that uh, change, social change comes from the bottom up, not from the top down. It's not because politicians are gonna legislate change that real social change occurs, but rather it's going to happen because people are going to insist on it, because they organize, they speak out, and they act. And Howard would say, if you look at history, you see that all social change has come about that way. He had an enormous faith in ordinary people, in working people, to, to come to realize the injustices in their lives and to demand that those change. And if, if he were alive today, because Howard was a phenomenal optimist and believed in people and people's capacity to bring about good and to bring a move towards justice, if he were with us today, he would be very encouraged by, and he would say, history isn't just something in the past. History is now. We're making history. It's happening. We are history. And he would look at um, the social movement's happening right now. He'd be encouraged by the Black Lives Matter movement, by the, um, the, the LBGT movement, the LGBT movement, um, uh, gay marriage and uh, gay rights, and uh, the, the um, United Opt Out movement. And he would be encouraged to see the momentum galvanizing around Bernie Sanders and his campaign and understanding that that's building a movement and part of building a movement. So um, I, when I get discouraged, I think about all the things I learned from Howard and I try to look at the world the way he did because it's um, a lot more optimistic than um, my natural tendency to lose hope and become cynical.